Good morning. <laughs> this is Ivy's litter. Ready to go home. Uh, we put him outside in the, the big pen today. So I was going to try and get some pictures of you or of them so you can watch them before they go home. They start going home today. Uh, actually, the orange collared one goes home today, the neon orange female. And they're doing super good. Uh, they were spayed and neutered on Monday. Did not affect them at all. Everybody always says, oh, but do they feel okay? Yeah, you can tell. We're having a group tug of war out here. And everybody is ready to rock and roll. I think we have three of them go flying out on sa uh, Friday. Saturday, Friday, Friday. Hold on one sec. I got two below me. They're down here crying. And I had to tell them no bark. And they couldn't do it with this thing in my hand. So we have the black and white down here. And we have the Merle down here. The one with the dark leg. The one that's wanting my attention. There it goes go out there and they'll all get in this tug of war game uh, for those of you picking up your puppy at the airport please remember to take a small trash bag some wet wipes some paper towels and some clean newspaper there we have the entire group is playing a tug of war that's unusual usually we get a onesie twosie or threesie now we have all four all of them playing uh, this group has been fun um, they are ready to go they are fully equipped to come home and be a monster if you do not treat them like a dog please don't treat them like a baby when you get them home set down rules boundaries and limitations um, they are going to chew they're going to nip at you you've got to stop the nipping the first two or three days they're at home um, i did a new video i'm going to let all the girls watch it it's just on the biting and the nipping and if it came out good, I had to redo one. Um, so if it come out good and everybody says yes, it, it works, I'm going to go ahead and send it out to you guys. Uh, and then I'd like some feedback before anybody else sees it. Please let me know when you get the extra video uh, that I'm going to email you separately on biting and nipping and first going home, what you think about it, if it's good, bad, or I should change things. But it's how we do it, what we do here, and it'll hopefully help you on your end when you get them home. Um, they've been a great group. They're totally ready to go. They're current on everything that they can have at this point. And um, they're just gorgeous babies. So I hope when you get them home, you have a great time with them. Um, I did take weights this morning. So with this crew playing like this, I'm not going to try and give you collar colors out there and find them. I'm just going to read the list. The pink female is 6 pounds, 6.5. The neon orange female uh, is 5 pounds, 12.5. The, um, the red and yellow splashes on the collar, which is a male, is 8 pounds, 2 ounces. The forest green collared puppy is 6 pounds 13 ounces. The blue collared puppy, which is a black pup, is 8 pounds 2 ounces. The blue collar with the green dots, which is a female and a party merle, is 5 pounds 13.5. The purple collared female is 6 pounds 1.5 ounces. And last is the red colored female, which is a black pup, weighs 6 pounds, 7 ounces. So that's your weights as of about 20 minutes ago this morning. And everybody is doing super good. So I hope everybody's had a chance to spot your puppy. It seems to be this is the game of choice today. Uh, they just came outside. They're going to spend the day out here. And they've been totally, totally away from Ivy for, oh golly almost two weeks so um, they're doing great they do not have the mommy complex at all there these guys are going they're, they're just demolishing the end of this rope <laughs> this is a great game for them to play at home um, it also helps them cut their teeth they helps them lose those eye teeth which are always hard to get to fall out 
Like I said, the orange collared is the one that's going home today right there in front of me. These guys are going to go. Okay, sibling rivalry. I know it's kind of dark in this. I've got them in the shade somewhat. And uh, we actually have a cover on this. Everybody laughs when they come. This is a chicken tractor. And I bought it for a puppy tractor. It has wheels on it. You can see down here on the end. I'll back up and let you see it. I can move this around my yard. It gives them a huge area to play. And this is what they put chickens in when they move them around the yard for all natural eggs. But for me, oh, this is the best puppy playpen going. We pull the tarp clear up to the top of it. It has a complete top that covers it, but we just use a half top because that's on the sun side and it gives them total shade then for the day. But uh, it's been a big help for us, especially with these big litters. We can move it every day and they don't kill my grass. I know, you guys are right underneath me. All right, I'm gonna close for now. I hope that you have enjoyed the videos and the pictures. Um, they've been a great group. Please be tough and consistent when you get them home. You'll be so much better. The first week you get this puppy home, actually the first couple weeks, please make sure it spends 50% of the time in its crate. When you are not physically interacting with this dog, which means physically talking to it, working with it, leading it, doing something, put it in the crate. Do not let it roam your house. Uh, housebreaking will go so much smoother if you use that crate. And uh, it's not cruel. They get to where they look at it as their home. Uh, my older dogs will actually go and sleep in their kennel in the house without anyone telling them. They'll just go get in their crate. And when it's bedtime, they automatically go get in their crate. This one says, come on, somebody play with me. Tug of war has gotten old. We do change toys every day, for, every day for them. So they've not seen the tug of war rope for quite a while. And that's why they're so excited about it. Plus they've got a bunch of stuffed toys out here they haven't seen. I think this is the red collar one down here underneath me crying. That's the wrong pup to pick on guys. She's big. <laughs> okay, have a good one. I'll see many of you soon. Um, and many of you will be at the airport and I don't think I finished my thing about the uh, the paper when you go to the airport uh, and take your stuff with you if they have soiled the crate they're gonna fly to you on a piece of carpet with newspaper under it um, please take your trash bag that way you've got something to throw the soiled carpet in you've got clean newspaper with you to put back in the crate and take them home then in the crate that way so they're not getting anything dirty on them on the trip home. Many times they make it clean to the other end, but you know what? There's always that one time you forget something to take and you have a smelly crate for all the way home. So have a good one. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.